Let me leave, let me leave you with this right here. All right. Do you know why you practice stuff over and over? Because you only got one chance to throw that one technique to win the fight. You got to do it over and over and over and over just to do it one second, one technique. You got to do it 100,000 times just for one moment, man. That's why you do stuff over and over and over and over, all right? You only got one shot, all right? Yeah. Don't call me coach. Come on, man. Come on. Hello friends and family, it looks like we're finally moving up in the world. June 16th, I will be fighting on UFC Fight Pass, the largest streaming fight platform in the entire world, and I'm so incredibly excited to show them what a RuneScape warrior can do. I've been fighting for around 8 years now, and I'm very excited to move up to this new echelon. I really hope you enjoy today's video, and it's a little behind the scenes look at what it takes to be a professional fighter. Well, it's two weeks before my fight, and it's Sunday, and I'm getting packed up, and uh, baby's still sleeping in my bed. I'm in here in my office, uh, yeah, so getting packed up and everything. Got a giant pile of laundry I gotta take care of since. You know, I'm gone for a week at a time, living out of my truck. It uh, definitely gets added up. You're so cute. Look at you. Hey, what'd you do to your breakfast? Hey. Usually it works out pretty good. Um, Cause kind of how I do it. This is my little ranger here. So keep all my clean clothes in the back of the cab here. And then immediately my back right here is kind of like my dumpster and dirty clothes hamper as you can see not necessarily the most hygienic but when you're incredibly poor trying to make it to the UFC uh, sometimes that's the way to do it I'm here chasing off these damn squirrels trying to eat my garden do this bastard you think I can't see you you think I can't see you dude what are you eating what's in your mouth come here what's in your damn mouth boy yeah, can't get no peace and quiet here, but real quick, look how beautiful the garden looks. My strawberries, my blueberries, got a cactus, sweet potato, broccolis, all kinds of stuff, cucumbers, peppers, tomatoes, peas, all them in the back of peas, all these big guys right here, peppers, peas, crap load of lettuce, lettuce, some broccolis, and over here, got our root veggies. Got a big old turnip down there. This is my little potato patch. As you can see, some, some big broccoli is brocken. My little pino peppers, lima beans, more lettuce. Then we got the corn, the star of the show. Yeah. I enjoy being a, what's the expression? Um, a warrior in a garden versus a gardener in a war. So it's my last day home and I'm sitting in the shower relaxing uh pretty anxious and sad to leave the kids behind but you gotta do what you gotta do right so i'm just kind of sitting around doing a little reflecting before i uh put everything in my truck and head out to kentucky uh for those who don't know for the last six months i've been going up during the week um sleeping on couches and floors to pursue my dream. Uh, I live in Knoxville and I drive four hours north to go train at my gym in Kentucky. And, um, you know, I could go into why that's the case, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to say I'm just so lucky. I'm, I'm going to make maybe a podcast episode in the future to explain it a little more, but I've been given so many blessings and gifts and you know, I grew up in a one stoplight town. I've never been on an airplane in my life. I've seen the oceans two the ocean two times in thirty years. And in two weeks, I'm being all expenses paid, flown out to Atlantic City, New Jersey, right on the ocean, to fight 
in the world famous Hard Rock Casino on the biggest fight streaming platform in the world. And to come from a one stoplight town that didn't get a McDonald's until I was my a junior in high school is insane to me. And the amount of support and love that I've had from my hometown people, uh, from my RuneScape community, it, it means the absolute world to me. You know, but it's hard. I got to leave my kids during the week and I have four of them and they love me so much and they're, they're so proud of me, but it's, it is hard. It's, it's really hard. And, um, you know, but it's worth it. That's what I want to say. This isn't negative. It's worth it. All of it is worth it to see how proud they are of me, to see how much they love me and understand that dad's chasing his dream to make a better future for them better better future than what I had you know and it means a lot to them and everyone out there who's said kind words subscribed liked commented everything that just helps build the brand you don't know what that means to me I have so many great sponsors that are uplifting me and you know win or lose next week or in two weeks I've already won the world's gonna know my name as I walk out to the RuneScape track, The Glory of Combat. And I hope that all of you out there are watching because I want you to celebrate the victory with me that I get to make the walk. And whatever happens in there, I'm prepared for. You know, every fight that ever goes into the cage, there's a loser and a winner. And I can't do anything about it other than work super hard in the meantime, trust the process, and um, show up. But feel very good, and I'm very thankful to display what us RuneScapers are capable of, what us small town boys are capable of, what us dads are capable of, what us poor people are capable of. I get to go out there and shoot my shot. So if you followed me along this far in the journey, thank you. Seriously. I love you all so much. And I truly hope that I can represent you. I just want to end with a quick prayer and I'll be on my way. God, I just want to thank you so much for this opportunity, Lord. And I want to ask that you use me to glorify you, Lord. That you use me as you see fit, God, because you've brought me this far, Lord. You've saved me. You helped me shed the weight, God. You helped me stick with this after brutal losses in my amateur career, Lord. You've helped me overcome this in spite of people saying you have too many kids, you're too old, all this. And here I am still, God, with the biggest opportunity ahead of me. I love you, Father, and I'm thankful for you. Amen. Go in peace, my friends, and remember... You can do it. And there are people out there that will support you. And sometimes it might feel like it's insurmountable. But I promise if you keep taking one step forward and you have faith, it'll happen for you. Thank you all so much. Proud Slayer out. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Me fuck a